Now to new surveillance video of a serious airport breach showing how a man allegedly got on a flight without a ticket. Trevor Alt joins us with that story and good morning, Trevor. Good morning, Rebecca. So authorities say this passenger was on a standby list for several Southwest flights, but all those flights were full. So we moved over to the Delta area and you can actually see him on this video appear to pretty blatantly snap some pictures of other passengers boarding passes and then using those to slip onto this plane. This morning, ABC News has obtained surveillance footage of the man accused of sneaking onto a Delta flight without a ticket. The man in the green sweater is Wycliffe Florizard. After talking and laughing with fellow passengers, he appears to snap a photo of that man's boarding pass. The criminal complaint says he did this multiple times with multiple people. And watch as he then scans his phone to get on board. Digital technology has made traveling much easier, but it's not infallible. In this case, we see that a simple QR code could be photographed from a paper copy and used to board an airplane. According to the affidavit, when another passenger tried scanning her ticket, the system said she'd already boarded. Florizard allegedly waited in the airplane bathroom, exiting as they began to taxi. And when questioned by a flight attendant, he told her his name and a seat number, which wasn't in the system. He wasn't booked on any other flights. The plane then heading back to the gate where Florizard was arrested, now charged with felony stowaway. This guy would have succeeded if we hadn't been in the middle of spring break where almost every airplane seat is sold out. If he'd walked in the back and he'd seen an open seat, he could have just gone and sat down and nobody would have been the wiser. And in a statement, Delta says it's cooperating with law enforcement. According to the criminal complaint, Florizard told the authorities he made a mistake and he was just trying to get home. Guys. Mm, big mistake there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say. All right, Trevor, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.